Just a quick shout out to Touchdown Digital for sponsoring this week's video. Well, hello, 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 and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all fighting fit and well. Today I want to talk to you about uh, a piece of kit that I've owned for about 18 months now, and for the last six outings I've actually used it on top of the Benro tripod. Uh, what is it I hear you ask? Well, it is the Benro three-way gear head. Now, since I've been using this, I've discovered that my photography, especially for my personal photography, um, has been lacking in certain ways, especially when it comes to fine tuning the composition, which I'm unable to do with a ball head. Now, ball heads are excellent. I've been using ball heads for some time now, and well, ever since they were invented, actually, and they're great. There's nothing wrong with using a ball head like 99.9% .9 of photographers do. However, when I started using the three-way gear head, my photography, uh, especially with composition, has improved. And I'll explain to you why in a moment. But a little bit about this um, three-way gear head from Benro. It is the Benro GD3WH. Benro have a habit of putting long numbers and letters um, next to their products, which is fine, but it is a bit of a mouthful. Now, it's a three-way gear head. In other words, there's three adjustments that I can make on the, tri on, the tri on the tripod, on top of the tripod. And what it enables me to do is to really fine tune the composition, which I just find that you really can't nail the composition correctly with a ball head. You just can't get that micro adjustment. This is all about micro adjustment. Now, the build quality of it is outstanding. I mean, it's like this um, powder-coated uh, metal. Uh, it's fairly hefty at 850 grams, and it is bigger than a ball head, as you can see on the video here. But basically, it's like all Benro products, absolutely magnificent. The craftsmanship of their products are, is, is outstanding, actually, and it fits well on the Benro um, tripod here. So. What it has on it, it has an Arco Swiss plate, as you can see, I've got the uh, three-legged thingy L-bracket on here. Uh, very, very strong and solid. This, this, this won't move. Uh, a good thing about this over a ball head, if you have a long lens on a ball head, and it doesn't matter how tight you tighten it, eventually you will get that, that slant ever so slightly. You might not even notice it with the, with the human eye, but it will move down that way a bit. Um, but you won't get that with this um, gear head because once it's on it is on everything's locked in comes with three levels here here and here are uh, the bubble floats so you can get your adjustments perfectly fine now I'm a big man and I've got hands like dinner plates and the turning knobs on here are, are really really good they're big everything's big about it so I can grab this turn it move it around the way I want without having to fiddle around because I've got big, big hands and these are big, big dials, so to speak. Um, basically, it, it, um, uh, it fits on any tripod. Um, if you've got a tripod that's got a collar here, you might need a, uh, a spacer to lift it up away from the, the, um, the screw part of your tripod, but it fits on the Benro pretty good. Um, basically, I will show you now what I mean by fine tuning adjustments. Uh, on here you have um, the degree as to how much tilt you've got. You can see that in the video, how much tilt you've got. On this side there's another um, calibration here um, with all the uh, micro adjustments which is, it actually works like a ball head and I'll show you how that works in a moment, <coughs> like this. We've also got the tilt this way and this way, as you can see there. So this is all about fine tuning your composition. Um, I find it so much better. And since I've been using this, this um, three-way geared head, I spend less time editing my images because I'm getting it virtually 99.9% .9 correct in camera, especially when it comes to horizons. Um, uh, things protruding to the right hand side or the left hand side of the image. 
So basically when I go into the editing of uh, back home in the studio, I might have to just do a bit of colour correction, um, increase a few things here and there on the sliders. You know how Lightroom works. But when it comes to adjustment in Lightroom, I don't need to do it because I'm doing it here on, with, the, with the geared head. Um, as I said, I've made a decision that I'm going to leave this gear head on here. I'll be using this from here on in. Um, I do own two more of these, but they're a commercial variety which I use for my commercial photography work, because that's what I do for a living. And they're much stronger, bigger, they're huge pieces of equipment. But for this uh, particular type of photography that I do, and most people, um, the three-way geared head is outstanding. So what I'll do, I'll try and get closer with the camera and I'll show you the micro adjustments that I can make and um, yeah, just show you how good this is. But before I do that, I'll show you that you can use it just like a normal ball head. On here, we have these turning knobs here. So all you do, you turn it, it works like a ball head. Lock it, locked. So it works very similar to the ball head. You're just a matter of turning it like so like a ball head it, um, it works really really good I'm surprised at how well it works um, I just think that with just adjust that got the Sun coming through the trees it just works so good I mean I um, as I said, I think I'll be using this more often, and but I'll, I'll bring the camera close. I want to show you the micro adjustments on it. You've got to get fairly close to this, so I'll be back to you in a moment. I'll just adjust the video camera, and I'll show you exactly how good this thing is. Okay, I've set the camera up behind the Canon camera, uh, where the uh, three-way Benro three-way gear head is situated. Now, as you can see in the back of the camera here, on the left-hand side, let me grab a stick here. On the left hand side here we've got some trees so what I want to do I don't want that there so if I just slightly turn it it eliminates that tree on the left the more I bring it this way you'll see the tree starting to and there he is there I don't want that there so what I do I just slightly turn it that way and he's gone now that's pretty difficult to do with a ball head because you might you might get it right but this is all about precision and I really think that to get the full benefit from this three-way gear head you really got to practice with it it's not for everybody but I really like uh, using it um, because of the fine adjustments now I've got that right now there's a lot of sky up here up there above the old shed I'll turn that down a bit and as you can see just ever so slightly I'm deleting part of the sky by doing that now that's really good if you've got too much horizon line so and what I've done there I've incorporated more of the foreground so this gear head is all about micro adjustment as you can see, I can bring it back here like this. Now the next one I want to do is the... I've got rid of the tree on the left, got rid of the horizon. Now there's this part, if you've got a wonky horizon, and we haven't got it in this case, but if you're doing seascape photography, you just turn like that. Now you can see how the camera is starting to tilt that way. Now by using the level on the, uh, down here on the gear head, you can get it all, well you can get it perfect. You can get it absolutely spot on. So that is why I use it. It's micro adjustments and I just feel I can obtain better images by using the Benray three-way geared head. Um, it retails around about $300, uh, which I think, which I think's really good value. Um, I'm not taking any photos here today. This is just a demonstration, but um, 
I, I really think that with the geared head, it's probably not for everybody, but um, for me, it's perfect. I just love the micro adjustments on it, um, and it just works. And you can move them all at the same time too, but that'll probably confuse the hell out of you. But the Benro three-way geared head is, in my books, pretty good to use and I'll be using that from now on in that'll be attached to the Benro whenever I whenever I go out with um, with the camera so basically that's it that's the Benro three-way geared head um, retails around about 300 bucks as I said uh, a really good piece of kit and I probably won't be switching back to a ball head even though the ball heads that I do use are quite good um, I think uh, basically uh, I've made the right decision with this. This is um, exactly what I've been looking after, or looking for actually. Um, yeah, the Benro three-way geared head. As I said, it's all about micro adjustments with these gear heads. Um, it has big knobs on it, um, and it's just so smooth and strong to use. You can feel the strength as you're turning, um, turning the camera either way. So. That's it. I just wanted to show you that and that's what I'm using from now on in is the Benro three-way geared head. Any questions or uh, anything else you want to know about this, please put them down below in the box below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So that's it for another episode of Sniper Photography. My name's Glenn Samuel. Thank you for watching and as I always say, be nice to yourself, family and friends. But most of all, you keep shooting and bye for now.